Hello everyone, it is Neo here from Neve's Makeup and I'm delighted to be on to do a takeover on the Blinks and Brows page today. So what I'm going to do is show you how I do my brows with the Blinks and Brows ID Brow Kit and then show you another couple of tips that I would actually use with the product as well. So I would usually use the darker brown right here, this one for um, liner. So I would do like create a nice soft liner with the dark brown and then maybe even a wing. We might finish it off with a wing. But it's such a versatile product and then you've got the brushes as well. Um, this is the one that I use, the double-ended spoolie because it's nice and small and I can brush through my brows and then obviously I've got my ID brow tool as well which is so, so handy. So my, br my brows are a bit all over the place here. Like seriously, there isn't, I don't know what's going on with them. So I'm going to go for a nice defined brow today, fill them in and I'm going to show you how I use the ID brow kit. So if you want to know, how my eyebrows are going to turn out. <laughs> Just keep on watching. So beginning with my favourite brush, there is another brush in the set, but this is the one that, that I find works for me. It's a double-ended spoolie brush and you've got your angle here, which is ideal for creating shape on the brow. So what I'll do first of all with the spoolie is brush my brows up. So just like that, just brush them upwards. And then with the angled brush, um, I will take more of the lighter shade because my hair would be very, very light blonde and then just a tiny bit of the, of the dark, just for a bit of um, a bit of depth. That's what I like to do. I'll go with this second stencil here and then I will place that over my brow and just map it up where the arch meets the arch here. So then you wanna run the product in the direction of the hair growth and against the direction of the hair growth. But I tend to use very, very light motion, very, very light pressure because it may seem like there's not much coming out, but there actually is. Bring everything along this way. And then you've got like your shape created just like that. It's nice and defined for me um, underneath the brow, which is what I want. So I'm going to again just brush up through the brow and then just connect it to like my natural shape of the brow then as well, just like this. So what I've gone for is something that's more defined underneath the brow. So it's like really lifting up my brow from that arch. And then I just want to kind of soften it out then on the, the top of the brow. So I'll take a little bit of the lighter brow powder again. And it's handy that you've got the mirror here if you're on the go. And what I'll do is I'll just go with the natural shape of my brow and just bring it along this way. So there's so many different things that you can do. Like you can take the stencil and completely use the shape from the stencil if you want to. I love playing around with it. So depending on what way my brows are that week. <laughs> Um, so this week they've been tinted so they are a bit dark before I begin so I can kind of go with that like more of a fluffier brow um, if I didn't have the tint they'd be really thin and then I could um, I could use utilize them to have a nice defined brow so it's whatever you feel like it's so versatile so now that my brows are done I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial on the eyes all together so I'm going to take the lighter shade in the pan here and then I've got a nice fluffy brush so I'm just going to take a little bit of product. Now, remember that this is so, so highly pigmented that you only need a little bit. But what we're going to do is look down and run this shade into the crease. And this is just going to create a nice little bit of depth, a little bit of shadow for us. So I'll take another little bit and tapping off the excess. Again, I only really want a tiny little bit of product. I'm just running it into the crease. So you can see here, it's just creating that little bit of depth. Just by blending it out, it's just going to soften it. Um, I'm just going to use that just literally like a little bit of eyeshadow so it's so versatile like I said like there's loads you can do so I've just built up the intensity to what I want so you can do as many applications as you want so I just built it up a little bit to make it nice and deep and now I'm going to go in with the dark shade and the brush that I used earlier the angle brush so it's going to take a little bit of shadow here tap off the excess and I'll work from the outer area of the eye holding the brush underneath and what I want to do is really run that dark shade really, really close to the lash line. Where, like, look at the pigment on that. Look how dark that comes out. And we're going to create this gorgeous liner effect. So I'm only taking it, like, in as far as the outer area, the pupil here. So I'm not taking it the whole way in. Just running it across. And it's just going to give it a lovely bit of definition here. Um, like, you can see it straight away. It's so, so nice. And it just vamps up the... So it just seriously vamps up the eye. Now, if you want to create a wing effect, um, a really good tip is to actually use the ID Bro, <laughs> Bro Tool. It's going to help you so much. So basically, again, we'll carry on and on the brush, get a little bit of that dark eyeshadow. And just like we would move the stencil up to the brow, we're just going to move it up here. So this is where I would usually create my wing. But we can just lean on the stencil. So we're going to get that perfect wing. Bring it out here. Look look at that like seriously you've got your full 
full on wing um, and then if you wanted to deepen up the look you can actually run a little bit of that dark eyeshadow underneath the eye. I love this effect. I feel like if anybody doesn't use eyeshadow underneath the eye, you need to like look at the difference. So that's just that dark powder. Run that under and like you have a full glam eye. Just from like literally these little products puffed inside your the difference. So that's just that dark powder. Run that under and like you have a full glam eye. Just from like literally these little products puffed inside your yeah popped inside your handbag and you're done like good to go it's i don't know i just love this product it's just fantastic like it's so good so i wanted to kind of cram in as much ideas as possible with this tutorial today i'm going to finish this eye and i'll hop back on to you and i'm back so off camera i just popped on some false lashes just to make it a little bit more dramatic and then i put a cream color pencil in my waterline then as well just to complete the look so i hope you enjoyed my tutorial today showing how i use the blinks and brows id brow kit I absolutely love the I just I love it so much like I'm always talking about it but um it's fantastic when a product is so versatile and you can use it for so many different uses because that's what we all want to do with our makeup just find different ways to utilize it many many ways so I hope you